Scooter, here we are again. I'm telling you. This week on Carolina All Out. There you go. Yeah, that's a good there We're going to do a little bass fishing today, and we're going to be right at the crux of where all the action comes together. You've got salt water coming in. You've got offshore, inshore. Everything happens right here on the Alligator River. It's been all summer long. We've missed out opportunities to go with Scooter, and now the team is back together. Catching bass on the Alligator. This is Carolina All Out. back there we're gonna put him in the water and we're getting ready to go bass fishing the band is back together CAO host Chris Douglas is teaming up with angler and good friend Captain Scooter Lilly for a day on the water in search of largemouth bass. Looks like it's going to be a good morning. Yeah permission to come aboard? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chris and Scooter are launching near the Lindsay C. Warren Bridge bordering the Alligator River in Tyrell County. With well over 10 inches of rain in the past week, the guys head out on Scooter's new Triton and hope for the best. I think uh, I'm gonna have to turn my hat around backwards here for this uh, 250 <laughs> horsepower. I, I, I don't think backwards is gonna get it done, but, but you could, yeah. I'll you, take it off, you, I'll take it off. You'll be riding like this right here. I tell you what, we'll be like Buford T. <laughs> Justice, I'll hold I, his head I'll with that. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we kind of, we had a lot of rain last week. Yeah. Or actually uh, this it, week. It, it was, was a lot. Yeah, last couple days, we've had over 10 inches right here where we've been. Mm. I mean, what do you think that's going to mean for fishing? I, man, I don't know. It, 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 high water down here, a lot of fresh water, sometimes it's, I've seen it bad and I've seen it good. I mean, but when you get a lot of high water, you, I think we're going to time this thing to where it's going to start falling out and usually a lot of outgoing uh, water flow and current in these creeks, the fish will bite. Right. But you know, on the other hand, if it's too high, the fish will spread out because they got more area to roam. Right. So it's sort of harder to pinpoint where they're going to be at. I mean, but it's just one of those things. You know, we're here. We're going to go find out. We'll know in a couple of hours. You know what's going on. Legend has it that the Alligator River got its name from its shape. Today, Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge is one of North Carolina's premier conservation areas for preserving natural wetland habitats and its native wildlife species. Although no hunting or fishing is allowed inside the wildlife refuge, the Alligator River itself provides some great fishing opportunities. Well, we are here at the mouth of the Alligator River. It is absolutely a beautiful day. Scooter, you've been a busy guy here. Yeah. Farming. Farming. Welding. Some you might have been laying tile for all I know, because Scooter not, does all sorts of not stuff. Not this month, but maybe some last month. So, you know, <laughs> Who knows? Maybe coming up next week, you can't never tell. In between the fishing. Whatever it takes. <laughs> a jack of all <clears throat> trades. Let's just say he does fishing the best. How's that? Uh, yeah, that sounds Okay, good. all right. Scooter is, by far, he's the best fisherman I know, and I would dare say he's one of the best fishermen in the state. Home waters are in the eastern part of the state, but he can do it anywhere you want to put him at. He knows moon phases, tides, he knows water temperatures, he knows all that thing, and I always learn something from Scooter whenever we go fishing. Scooter, I see we, we got over here on this side. It looks like a little break in the wind from all this way the wind's coming in, what do we got happening here? Well, we're trying to look a spot that we can get a little bit closer to the bank because the water is it's relatively at least another a foot and a half high right now. And it's starting to move out, which is good, because we've had over 10 inches of rain in the last four or five days. And, and that's a lot of rain. Plus, we've got a full moon, which brings us a high tide, a higher tide for the month for this time. And 
Normally it's a good time to fish. I mean, but we've had an excessive amount of rain, which could make this a little bit more difficult. And it's the second day after this, this storm front has left us with a little bit of sunshine. So I'm sort of setting it up here talking about failure instead of winning. <laughs> hey, but, that's why you're but supposed we're going to, to figure this thing out. <laughs> I, I mean, there's a lot of big fish here. Uh, I feel very confident that if I don't get hung a lot, we'll catch one. Well, you know you're taking a bigger risk because you got the accuracy that I don't, so I'm not even going to try to do what you're you doing. see how accurate that was. Well, that was dang close, no, I'll tell you close. that. Yeah, close don't, does not count. Yeah. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. XGO, those who know, wear XGO. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Browning, the best there is. New Sports Shop, we've got the gear. And by Farms and Land Realty, selling land is what we do. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. Now I can see structure right out here, and I see you're already there. Yeah, so. with all this rain, you know, there's been a whole lot more stump sticking up here than what there usually is right now. But right. We're just going to throw these uh, whopper ploppers over top of some of these uh, submerged stumps and treetops and see if one's sitting on them. They may be up on the hill, which is... We can call them up. So we're going to try some of everything until we get one. And we get one to bite. CAO host Chris Douglas is with Captain Scooter Lily fishing for largemouth bass. They've decided to head toward the edges and backwaters in hopes of finding the fish taking advantage of the unusually high water levels. Well, prior to this week coming down and, and, and setting a schedule to do a day, you kind of got to take the, the day that the, the good Lord Mother Nature hands you. So, you know, in the last couple of weeks, we've had 10, 12, 14 inches of rain in some places. And, the water level was really high on the alligator when we, when we got there. When the water gets really high, the fish seem to spread out real bad or congregate in smaller areas. And, and that's what we ran into throughout the day. It's really about just picking this whole bank apart. You can see, as we've been talking here, what normally would be something we couldn't even get close to it would be very shallow water. With all the rain that we've had, the water's brought it up. So this looks like it's just a few stumps spotted. If you could see down into the water, you would be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, there's some major structure underneath here. And so potentially what's happened is we've got a place for fish to scatter out all along this flat basically up here. And that makes it a little more difficult. Now, Scooter just put it right in the money. If anybody would think there wouldn't be a fish there, I mean, I would bet there would be a fish there, but we've been fooled a number of times yeah. today. Oh, yeah. It all looks so good. Yeah, it's just... And they're spread out. There ain't no doubt about it. They, they are not... And, I, and we're fishing... I mean, fishermen... <laughs> typically are only fishing for 10% of the fish anyway when you're fishing up shallow. Right. You know, and, and now at this point, I don't, we ain't even fishing for that many. Yeah. Because they're just, you know, they can go anywhere up here. It really allowed us to get the boat further up into the stumps and things that you normally wouldn't be able to fish because the water isn't accessible. On, it's not accessible on low water. So with the water being another foot and a half higher, we were able to get up in some of these real shallow places because the fish had pushed up shallow with the higher water and we were able to catch them. After a few casts, the bite starts coming. There, there you got one. There you go. What you got, Scooter? Hey. Yep. Mm. Good job. Ah. Completely. Oh, got it. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. <laughs> Throw it in the same hole. There you go. <laughs> Keep the line tight on. There you go. They're about twins, aren't they? Yeah, they sure. Uh-huh. That's yep. oh, fun. Look at that. It takes so long to show everybody so that. To get along. That's frogging. <laughs> That's what frogging will do for you right there. <laughs> the frog has been around for a long, long time. Remember fishing with the topwater frogs? 
when I was a kid. And you know, these particular ones we're using have the tassels. You twitch that on top of the bait. It's just a lot of action for those bass. So having the right gear in this situation and fishing with frogs is a heck of a lot of fun. It's on top water. It's action sitting up there. You can see the frog and then he's gone and now you're setting the hook. So it's all part of that experience of frog fishing for bass. Well, that first one that was up there was a... <laughs> they are stacking there, ain't they? Yep. Well, he's a little bit better, ain't he? I don't know, they just fight they just so good. Fight so good, they got about a twin right yeah, there. Yeah, no, that's a decent fish. They're chunky, not a big one. He ate it. He wanted to be a big one. Yeah. He's gonna jump for you and make a little splash. Mm -hmm. He ate that one. Yeah. Whoa, 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 That one chunked it. Yeah, he did. Not a whopper plopper or was that a frog? No, that was a frog. Well, the whopper plopper was, was one of the uh, the lures that I was planning on catching a few fish on, and, and I saw that was gonna quickly change. The fish didn't have any problem responding to the frog. They, they ch completely chucked it when, when you got it around one. So we just had to switch strategies a little bit, and, and, and that's what you have to do when, you, when, you're, when you're fishing for largemouth. Every day is different. Uh, even when conditions are normal, um, you still have to, be able to, you have to be able to switch, switch with the fish, and, and kind of fly by the seat of your pants, so to speak. Nice fish, look at here, look at here. No, he has swallowed Calling that thing. Up. They are yeah, aggressive I think we on these found, things. Found us a spot. Follow Carolina All Out on Facebook and Instagram for insider tips, behind the scenes footage, and premier hunting and fishing locations. Hit subscribe on YouTube and never miss another episode. Brought to you by Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Hello, um, I'm Tommy with New Sports Shop here in Kentston, North Carolina. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about our gear and our recommendations for frog fishing. To start with, we would recommend a seven, seven and a half foot heavy action rod paired up with a sturdy reel and a fairly high retrieve rate reel would be nice as well. We also recommend using braided line and about 65 pound strength to enable you to force fish through the heavy cover that, that you're going to encounter your bites in with a frog most of the time. Uh, as you can see, we have several different brands of frogs, but there's two major types, some that are pre-rigged with hooks and some that are require you to put your own hooks in them. The hooks that we recommend using for these frogs that, you, that are not pre-hooked is something in the line of a five or six alt strong hook, and they can be weighted as well as not weighted, depending on what your style of fishing might be. If you want to learn more about frog fishing, certainly stop by here at the new sport shop and we'll be glad to help you with it. Oh, there's a good one. Uh-oh. Did you get on? He's, down? Up. He's, up. He's, he's on the whopper plopper. He ain't that big, but he smoked it. That's the first fish on the whopper yeah, plopper. He good. came up and got it. He sure did. He ain't a big one, but he'll... He was fun. He looked like he moved some water when he yeah, hit it. It could be a striper. And guess what it is? I can't striper. get away from him. <laughs> CAO host Chris Douglas is with angler and friend Captain Scooter Lilly fishing for largemouth bass. Well, yeah, striper, we hey. A little striper too, a little striper action. So what you get on alligator. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. With the water being 18 inches higher than normal, they're still trying to find the sweet spot to catch the kind of fish they know are there. The day has been fairly calm. But with the water so high, Scooter and Chris fear that the fish are up in the reeds exploring the newly claimed territory. I just see in this area, you can actually see the, the structure uh, a couple of foot down under the water. Yeah. You know, that the visibility is good for a top water lure. You feel like you're just throwing to open water, but what you're actually See, like that to. log I was looking at, you yeah. can see it down. You can see the yeah. barnacles on it. I mean, yeah. the water's got good clarity. See, but the water this high, it, it, it gives the fish so much places to be. They can be anywhere. They can literally go right into the woods. I mean, it's... You know, fishing all day, you're in the sun. You're getting sun from above. You're getting the sun from below. You're just getting pounded. And when you're fishing, you need good gear. 
and we use XGO. You see me with the hoodie on, the sun hoodie all the time when we're doing that sort of thing. It's perfect. It doesn't make you overly hot and it's shading you from the sun. Oh, you got him. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah, fun fish. Well, I wonder how many sitting in that one little ditch. There ain't no telling. Destroyed. Yeah. They look good. They look up. a lot bigger in the water. Yeah. They tear it up. Yeah, there you go. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. XGO, those who know, wear XGO. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. DNZ Products, precision scope mounts and scope rings. Miopta Sport Optics, see more, hunt longer. And by the Dixie Deer Classic, the South's premier sporting event. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. I cleared it out where we could cast in there now. That's what I like to do before we start fishing with the real lures. Chris Douglas has teamed up with Captain Scooter Lilly for an action-filled day of fishing for largemouth bass. Hey, yeah. mm. Good job. Although the action has been fun, Scooter and Chris decide to head to a new area to find the big fish. You just see how to shake that head? Yeah, there. he just, <clears throat> yes. they are energetic. All right, we've been moving around and the weather's been doing a few little funny things. We've had a little bit of rain, we've had some clouds. Now the wind's picked up a little bit because we're on this side of the sound. And you can see this water's frothed up there. Scooter's throwing a, a whopper plopper because he likes to throw it in the chop. Yep. And I'm gonna continue on throwing this frog. Even though it hasn't He's got some off. real distance because that whopper plopper is uh, heavy. pretty heavy. You know, and I've been fishing the Admiral Sound for for over 35 years, and anyone who knows me, uh, chasing largemouth bass is my favorite thing to do. So I'm very well prepared to have almost any lure that's available out there on the market to go after them when conditions change. All right, let's see what's in here. We're finding the fish are right up, coming out of the ditches. The wind is driving the current as well as the, uh, the water's falling right now, so this water's coming out of here and the they fish just, are really, really tight. They're tight and they don't want, they don't want the whopper plopper today at all. They, 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 Which hurts Scooter's feelings. They're eating that frog, but you know, although you, you'll see through the day throwing a few different varieties of lures and, and you saw us adjust and, uh, and eventually we start when it, we wound up going to the frog full force. Uh, it, it was just a good way to power fish, get our way back to the bank and catch some of these large mouth. There's a big one. There you go. That's, a, that's uh -huh. a stud there. There you go. Nice. There you go. Now that's what we come to. There. Hey. <laughs> Scooter. There you go, man. Alligator River Al bass right Alligator there. River. Oh my goodness. That's what we're looking for. Is that not a beautiful that is fish? A, that's a bucket mouth. He is indeed. <laughs> that is awesome. Yep, he was sitting right on the back side of that point. He decided to bite. Yeah. He smoked, smoked that frog. That is all right there. <laughs> Folks, the Alligator River right here in North Carolina producing bass like this. And Scooter says yeah. they're here. They're here. It's just you know, 12 inches of rain has kind of made it kind of tough on the fishing the last today, and it's uh, it's good to see a fish of that quality. Wow. Yep. Yeah. 
We got a little rain coming in, and we're gonna have to close this show out a little bit early because getting struck by lightning on the water is not worth anything. But this was an awesome day on the alligator. Yeah, it too. was. We've caught a lot of fish, and uh, we got some quality. Got some quality. Got some quality. Finally, right here at the end, and the fish it's, maybe it's six been pound a great or so. Day. Yep. Six pound or so, and a little lean pound. because this is in the late it's in summer. The summer. Here. Yeah. Yeah, summer it's fish. But this is the kind of fish that you can find on the Alligator River. Um, you wouldn't even believe it. You just wouldn't believe some of the things that we have been able to see here as far as the water. Our water table is up so high right now, uh, but Scooter, being this is his home water, being he fishes all the time, said, hey, we're gonna change up some things. We're gonna try this, try that, and this is what is produced. And this could be yeah. a mediocre day. This is what's produced, And fishing yeah. frogs, and that's yeah. something yeah. else yeah. I wanna say. Frog. We are fishing frogs here, and it is a lot of fun. You get to see that action on the top and you just don't know when it's gonna happen. You might think it's gonna happen close to the bank, but the way this water is, it happens way out here. It happens way out here sometimes. You never, know where, you never know where they're really gonna be sitting with this high water. I mean, more than likely they're gonna be shallow, but this one proved us a little bit wrong. He sure did, yeah. sure did. But this is the kind of fish you can get here on the Alligator River. You've got to get out and experience North Carolina. We're down east, but they've got these guys across the state and a lot of other types of different fish. Scooter knows all about the stripers that come in these parts. Caught and one, sort of, we got caught one. one. Caught one of them, yeah. So you've got to try yeah. this here in North Carolina. We're going to show you more about bass fishing and everything else you can do in the outdoors legally right here on Carolina All Out. <laughs> Put her back so we can catch her another day. There she goes. Yeah. Just in time for the rain. <laughs> Just in time for the rain. You know, the Alligator River experience was awesome. Scooter put us on the fish even after these big rains that change so much with the fish patterns. Fishing with Scooter is always great. He's going to put you on fish. And I'll tell you what, if you've watched the show over the past few years, we have fished in snow, we fished in high winds, brutally hot weather. We've done salt water, we've done fresh water. We've adapted to the species that we were going after, to the weather that was surrounding us and it's always a blast. I wouldn't be able to do it by myself, that's for sure. It's really all on Scooter. I give him total credit for everything he's done when it comes to my fishing here on the show. You gotta check him out sometime. Go with him sometime, book with him. CWW Inshore Charters, Captain Scooter Lily, he'll put you on the fish. Not a big one, he hit a hole. Whoop. <laughs> oh. That line went up in a slit in the guarantee. That's where it went. What have you done? I don't know what we have done here, but it ain't what we wanted. On Carolina All Out. This, this is Carolina, Carolina All Out. Carolina All Out. Can we do that? Yeah. Yes, that's the way we do it. Is that the way we do it every time? Every time. Every time. Every time. Okay. Have you got proof? All right, yes. Let's do it. Lots of videos. Bad Daisy. <laughs> love the outdoors of Carolina as much as we do? Get your official Carolina All Out gear at carolinaallout.com. Show your Carolina pride with our line of hats and t-shirts. Tag us on Facebook when you're wearing your CAO gear for a chance to be featured on our page. Show your love for the Carolina outdoors. Get your official Carolina All Out gear today.